Have you ever wondered what's inside a snake hole? The world beneath us is filled with mysteries and unexplored territories, and one such enigma is the snake hole. Slithering creatures of all shapes and sizes call these subterranean homes their own, from the venomous king cobra to the innocuous garter snake. Each species with its unique characteristics chooses different types of habitats. Some prefer the warmth of the desert sand, others the damp soil of a lush jungle, and some even make their homes in our own backyards. Yet, snake holes are often misunderstood. Many envision them as eerie, dark tunnels teeming with a multitude of snakes. But is this the reality? Or are snake holes more intricate and purposeful than we might think? The truth may surprise you. So, let's leave our assumptions at the door and prepare to delve into the unknown and uncover the secrets of snake holes. Snake holes, or burrows, are not as simple as they seem. Welcome to the wonderfully intricate world of snake habitats where a hole is not just a hole. For different snake species, these holes serve multiple purposes. They act as a refuge from predators, a safe haven for shedding skin, a place to lay eggs, or even a hunting ground. It's like a snake's personal fortress, a multi-purpose facility tailored to their needs. Now let's dive into the different types of snake holes. Some snakes are industrious builders, creating their own burrows. They use their muscular bodies to push through soft soil or sand, creating tunnels and chambers. These burrows can be simple or complex, depending on the snake species and its needs. It's quite fascinating, isn't it? On the other hand, some snakes are opportunistic and prefer to take over existing burrows or crevices, which could have been abandoned by other animals. These can range from small holes in the ground to larger, more complex burrow systems. For these snakes, it's all about convenience and saving energy. Then we have those snakes that find comfort under rocks or within the crevices of a tree trunk. These snakes are the ultimate opportunists, taking advantage of the natural terrain and structures around them. They slide into these spaces for protection and to wait for unsuspecting prey to pass by. But it's important to remember, not all snakes live in holes. Many arboreal snakes, for instance, spend most of their lives in trees, while aquatic snakes are more at home in water. These species have adapted to their environments in incredible ways proving just how diverse and adaptable snakes can be. So you see, snake holes are more than just a place for rest. They are a sanctuary, a hunting ground, a nursery, and even a strategic point for defense. They are a crucial part of a snake survival strategy, a testament to the adaptability and resourcefulness of these fascinating creatures. Snake holes are more than just a place for rest. They are a crucial part of a snake survival strategy. A snake hole structure is a marvel of natural engineering. As we delve deeper into our exploration, let's take a moment to appreciate the intricate design of these serpentine dwellings. The typical snake hole is not just a simple burrow in the ground. It is a complex network of entrances, chambers, and tunnels. The entrances are often small and inconspicuous, cunningly designed to deter predators and protect the snake's privacy. It's like the snake's very own secret doorway to a safe haven. Inside, the hole expands into one or more chambers. These are the snake's living quarters, where it retreats for rest, sheds its skin, and sometimes even lays eggs. Each chamber is a snug fit, tailored to the snake's body size and shape. Imagine having a home that fits you like a second skin. The tunnels that connect these chambers are equally fascinating. They serve as passages for the snake to move around its underground fortress. But they're not just hallways, they also function as escape routes in case of danger. It's like having a built-in emergency exit in your own home. The snake hole is also a masterstroke of temperature regulation. Being underground, it offers a cool retreat from the scorching sun and a warm shelter during chilly nights. It's the snake's natural thermostat, if you will. Some snakes are industrious builders who dig their own holes, while others are opportunistic tenants who modify existing holes made by other animals. This showcases the snake's adaptability and its knack for making the most of available resources. Lastly, the snake hole plays a key role in the snake's hunting strategy. It serves as a concealed vantage point from which the snake can launch surprise attacks on unsuspecting prey. It's a covert operations center where the snake plots its next meal. The snake hole is a testament to the snake's adaptability and survival instincts. This intricate network of tunnels and chambers is not just a home, but a fortress, a hunting ground, and a sanctuary, all rolled into one. It's a marvel of natural engineering and a reflection of the snake's fascinating life beneath the surface. 
The contents of a snake hole can be as varied as the snakes themselves. It's not just a hideout, it's a whole world teeming with life. The primary resident, of course, is the snake itself. Snakes seek shelter in these holes to escape predators, shield themselves from harsh weather, and even to lay their eggs. But the snake is not always alone in its abode. A snake hole can also serve as a nursery. Female snakes often lay their eggs inside these holes, providing a safe and secluded space for their offspring to develop and hatch. The eggs are usually tucked away in a corner, protected from the elements and potential predators. Now let's not forget about dinner. Snakes are carnivorous creatures after all. The snake hole can sometimes serve as a larder, housing the snake's prey. It's not uncommon to find remnants of meals past bones, feathers, fur tucked away in the corners of the hole. And sometimes you might even stumble upon another snake. Yes, it's true. Though snakes are generally solitary creatures, they have been known to share dens, especially during winter hibernation. This phenomenon known as denning allows snakes to conserve body heat during the colder months. Now, if you're really playing detective, you might find something else intriguing in a snake hole shed skin. As snakes grow, they shed their skin, a process known as ectasis. This discarded skin, often found in one piece, serves as a testament to the snake's growth and development. So, as you can see, a snake hole is not just a simple burrow in the ground. It's a home, a nursery, a pantry, and sometimes, a communal living space. It's a testament to the snake's survival instincts and its ability to adapt to its environment. A snake hole is a living, breathing ecosystem in itself, full of surprises. So, the next time you come across one, remember, it's more than just a hole in the ground, it's a glimpse into the fascinating world of snakes and their incredible adaptability to survive and thrive in the wild. Snake holes play a bigger role in the ecosystem than you might think. The intricate network of tunnels and chambers that form a snake's burrow aren't just a cozy home for our slithering friends, but also provide shelter for a whole host of other small creatures. From the tiny field mouse to the industrious beetle, these underground hideouts offer a safe haven from predators and harsh weather conditions. But the benefits of snake holes extend beyond providing shelter. They also contribute significantly to soil aeration. The digging action of snakes as they burrow and move through their tunnels helps to loosen the soil. This increased aeration improves the soil's ability to absorb water and nutrients, promoting healthier plant growth and contributing to the overall productivity of the ecosystem. And let's not forget the role snakes themselves play in controlling the population dynamics of their prey. Snakes are carnivorous creatures, feeding on a diet that includes rodents, amphibians, and insects. This predatory behavior helps to keep the population of these species in check. In this way, snakes contribute to maintaining a balanced and healthy ecosystem. However, the relationship between snakes and their prey is not a one-way street. Changes in the prey population can also influence the number of snakes. A decrease in the prey population can lead to a reduction in the number of snakes and vice versa. This interdependent relationship, mediated in part by the snake hole, is a perfect example of the complex web of interactions that make up our ecosystems. So next time you spot a snake hole, remember it's not just a hole in the ground. It's a vital part of the ecosystem, providing shelter for a variety of creatures, contributing to soil health and playing a key role in population dynamics. Snake holes and the snakes that inhabit them are vital parts of our ecosystem. So the next time you see a snake hole, remember. These intriguing structures often unnoticed are more than just snake homes. They serve a purpose in the life of a snake providing a refuge for rest, protection, and even breeding. The complexity of their design, a marvel in itself, is tailored to the snake's needs, with chambers and tunnels that allow for movement and safety. Within these subterranean abodes, you might find more than just a snake. They can house eggs, prey, and sometimes even other creatures. This intricate world beneath our feet is a testament to the versatility and adaptability of snakes. Moreover, Snake holes play a critical role in our ecosystem. They contribute to soil aeration and provide habitats for other species, underlining the interconnectedness of life. Snake holes, while mysterious, are an essential part of our world and a fascinating subject to explore. So, let's continue to appreciate and respect these remarkable structures and the serpents that call them home.